Another day, another mystery. Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing this relatively recent discovery of yet another unusual radio source coming from the center of our galaxy that once again does not have a very good explanation. A radio source that was recently described in the paper you can find in the description below and that doesn't seem to fit the patterns we've observed from other radio sources from the usual culprits such as for example various neutron stars, various white dwarfs, or potentially black holes that can, in theory, produce various types of unusual radio signals. And so in this video we're going to discuss what type of a signal this is, what sort of patterns it's exhibiting, and more importantly what the scientists believe it might be after all. But I guess to start, let's find out how all of this was discovered, and more importantly, why in the last few years we had so many unusual radio signals discovered out of nowhere. You might already know the answer to this, it's basically because of the new development and a lot of different projects when it comes to radio astronomy. This one right here is one of the projects in Australia, the project ran by the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research, with these projects essentially creating these mega telescope structures, with each made out of these small radio antenna, that can generally produce extremely accurate and very detailed images, allowing us to explore the universe in radio light. And because of this in the last few years, the scientists were able to create some really incredible radio maps of the night skies, allowing us to see things we've never been able to see before. With one of my most favorite maps being Glimoscope that you can find in the description below, that essentially allows you to look at the night skies, or in this case the Milky Way galaxy, in the X-rays, in the gamma rays, in the infrared light, microwave light, but most importantly, in radio light, but with extreme accuracy and detail, that's never been available before. And naturally here, as you start exploring the night skies, you might discover some objects you might have not even known existed. If you've watched videos on this channel before, you might already know what this is, for example. This is the iconic Centaurus A galaxy that's not as easily visible in optical light, but becomes the brightest object in radio light. As a matter of fact, one of the recent videos talked about the size of this object. It's something like 19 to 20 times larger than the full moon in the night skies. But because of these new projects, we also started discovering some unusual radio signals that nobody has ever seen before. Okay, obligatory side note, not alien technology radio signals. We're talking about natural radio signals from objects that could be just as mysterious if not more mysterious than the aliens themselves. Possibly representing some unusual physical phenomena that can help us understand the universe a little bit better. And not so long ago, we've already talked about one unusual radio signal detected from the center of the galaxy that is still just as mysterious and didn't really get a good explanation yet. You can find out more about this in one of the previous videos somewhere right there or in the description. But now the scientists discovered something else just as interesting if not more interesting. An unusual flash in radio signal that's approximately 4000 light years away from us that seems to flash for about 30 to 60 seconds simulated in this video right here and it seems to do so every 18.18 .18 minutes while also being one of the brightest objects in that particular radio frequency yet displaying patterns that don't match any known astronomical objects although still displaying some similarities to certain types of objects such as for example some types of pulsars this figure right here, for example, illustrates the comparison between these particular signals, in this case this is the name of this unusual event, comparing it to certain types of pulsars, certain types of fast radio bursts, and a lot of other radio sources such as, for example, quasars, or even different types of supernova. With the overall power or luminosity of the object increasing the higher on the graph it is. In other words, fast radio bursts are still the winners when it comes to power and luminosity. Nevertheless, because of the actual display of frequencies and how they repeat, it's still a very strange object because nothing else known to scientists has ever displayed these particular patterns. While at the same time this object is technically in our neighborhood, it's only approximately 4000 light years away from us, that's closer than a lot of nebula out there. And at the same time, this object to some extent does resemble what you would expect from a typical pulsar. It does pulsate and it does produce very bright radio signals. But the main difference between a pulsar and this object is that, well, a pulsar does so very quickly. Usually a single pulsation here can be either in seconds or even milliseconds. 
So in comparison, this unusual object seems to do so extremely slowly. A single pulsation takes approximately 18.18 .18 minutes and it also lasts for up to a minute. That's never been seen before. It's basically like having a pulsar that seems to be in slow motion, extreme slow motion. But the signals coming from this object also seem to be very highly polarized, which usually is caused by very powerful magnetic fields, like billions and trillions of times more powerful than the ones we have here in the solar system or on planet Earth. And so because of this, the scientists sort of think it's probably some sort of an unusual magnetar, not so much just a regular neutron star. Which I guess brings me to the first potential explanation the scientists offer in the paper. In theory, this object could be the first known ultra-long period pulsar or magnetar. In other words, it's a very highly magnetized neutron star that seems to produce a lot of energy but doesn't actually spin very fast. Naturally, a single rotation here for some reason takes 18.18 .18 minutes. And in this case, releasing very unusual, very slow emissions but still producing just as much power as a typical pulsar would. And the scientists have already discovered 71 of these pulses coming from this particular object. But they were impermanent. As a matter of fact, for some reason, this object seems to have actually stopped emitting signals now. But since we still don't really understand magnetars very well, for example, we don't even know how exactly they form, how they evolve, or what happens to them at the end, currently a magnetar is probably one of the better explanations here possibly just some sort of evolved magnetar or a magnetar that seems to be not as active as some of the other neutron stars. Although interestingly, magnetars seem to be also a potential answer to the fast radio bursts. So in other words, at least at the moment, magnetars might explain a lot of things in the universe, or maybe we're just using them as a kind of a makeshift excuse for a lot of things we don't understand in the universe. Either way though, it's just one of the potential propositions. The other proposition is also quite interesting and quite viable. This particular object could be an extreme case of a certain type of a white dwarf with extremely powerful magnetic fields, and generally because white dwarfs don't spin as fast as neutron stars, it would actually explain why we're detecting these particular signatures. So for example, for a typical neutron star or a magnetar, we do expect them to be a little bit more constant, producing a lot of emissions over a longer period of time. But for a white dwarf, especially if it has something in its orbit, some of these emissions could be somewhat temporary. For example, it can last for a few days, a few weeks, maybe a few months. And so in this particular case, apart from the magnetar, which is the first possibility, the second possibility is that it's maybe some sort of an unusual magnetized white dwarf that doesn't spin as fast, but produces just as powerful emissions. And because the object was only active for approximately two months and hasn't really been active since, it's kind of difficult to really determine what exactly this is until we see it do something again. And so no matter what this object is and no matter what the scientists discover in the next few years, it's definitely a pretty exciting and a pretty unusual discovery. It's so far the only object doing this but chances are, because of these new advanced telescopes, we might be discovering more unusual radio mysteries in the next few months as well. So make sure to subscribe because we're going to be coming back and talking about this in some of the future videos. Also, maybe share this video with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, or maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining a channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Once we find out what this is, I'm going to follow this up with another video. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.